All right, maybe we should call the meeting to order and um, we'll have to wait for a fifth person in order to be able to uh, do our voting, which is the purpose of this meeting. Yeah. But, um, I'll call the meeting to order now so we can discuss and I see that Jane Nevin Smith's here with us so um, perhaps we can talk about um, about what's going on there and then and then we can get back to our, our business. Does that sound okay for everybody? Yes. Okay, sure. so I call the meeting to order. Anybody want to second that? <laughs> sure, I'll second it. Okay. Thank you, Claire. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Excellent. All right. So. Catalina, did you want to do a, a little update of I Love Hadley or? Yes, 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 yes. So um, right now um, the, we have an exhibition at the Senior Center. I, we send you the information about the, the, the invitation that please share with everybody. The, I would made a, a, a poster, Lou made a beautiful poster, but there was a mistake right there. The hour is supposed to be, it's a six to eight. So, but when you share your information, please uh, uh, say that it's six to eight. Um, we are going to have postcards over there for people to take for free, but we are asking for donations. So that way we will be able to get some funding to reprint. Oh, here's Katie. Yay. <laughs> Let's wait that Katie's right here. Hello, Katie. Katie. Nice yeah. <laughs> So I, I'm reporting about the uh, I Love Hadley project that uh, right now we have, uh, actually we have several exhibitions. We, we have one at the uh, four uh, pictures at the library um, and we have the postcards there too. We have one picture at the town hall and um, we have postcards there too. We have one picture in the um, post office, but uh, the lady haven't, put it outside, she keep it inside. She love it too much, so it's, it's fine. <laughs> but she have the postcards available for everybody. And uh, tomorrow, we, we right now we have for January and February, the exhibition of nine uh, pictures, a uh, very beautiful frame. And, and uh, we have the opening at uh, six to eight. We have postcards and we will have some uh, uh, big posters to sell for $10 to be able to, um, as I said, I send a letter to you to be able to pay the $220 that I put from my pocket to be able to get the good frames. But it's really worth it. The good frames make things look so beautiful and professional. So we are going to put that uh, uh, for sale, the, the uh, frame poster for $70 that I'm sure is going to go, if someone wants it, it's so affordable and they are so beautiful mm -hmm. that hopefully they, they will go like fast. Ten of that dollars, ten dollars is going to be for the um, friends of the uh, of the senior center. So and uh, sixty will be for us to be able to um, be able to pay me. And if there is more money, then to reprint more postcards. Um, I had uh, something. Uh, I, I needed to, well, tomorrow. We are going to do to, to a sh slideshow one of the postcards that are the very beautiful, like maybe ten pictures, and then we are going to do a huge one that is like a seventy-two pictures, that is like ten minutes of uh, uh, select ones. Hello, Michelle. You're here. <laughs> yes. Um, we are going to have a slideshow of all that seventy-two pictures. That is a little long. And Amanda is Stan Rose, that she's one of the photographers. She's going, she's a professional violinist. She would be playing through that, through that slideshow. Um, now, about the money that, yes, you have a question? Well, when you're, well, keep going. I have a question when you're done, I guess. I thought you were done. So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, um, about the money, like uh, uh, um, tomorrow, hopefully people will bring cash, but if not, um, I was offering, I can give my, my, my Venmo account, but it's up to you. I can then show that what money came, what money didn't come. So uh, it's up to you. Right now I have in my pocket $10 of the uh, postcard that people have donated. Thanks to Jane that she's decided to put a, a, a note, please donate to the Hadley Cultural Council. So I have $10. Um, so with that, with that um, money, uh, what shall I do? Uh, shall I do? 
shall I bring it to the town hall and put it in the in the account of the uh, um, Hadley? We have a gift account, or shall I keep that, pay myself the two hundred forty dollars, and the rest put it in the account? So, please, um, I want to he hear your thoughts. Hey, Catalina. It just, I mean, I, I don't have a lot of experience with this, but it does seem cleaner if you have money to put it in the HCC account and then we pay you back from that account. Yes. Um, just seem, I, I don't know what other people think, but that seems like cleaner in terms of recognition for you and for the council. Yeah. I think um, anything with money has to be completely um, transparent. And I think we have, there has to be a clear, it's a, we're a town committee and you're re we're receiving funds for the committee it needs to all go through the committee and through the town um account we have okay perfect jane you were going to say something yes i agree with everything that's been said and the question of using your vimo account is interesting because there are people who will want to buy things who don't have cash with them and you're mm -hmm. more likely to sell it so if you are if i you are really careful about recording that and then transferring it to the town account I think that would work all right. Does people agree about that? Oh, for sure. I mean, I just think not that many people arrive with cash, you know, especially for the more no. expensive items and nobody brings checks anymore. So not anymore. Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, if you agree, I will put my Venmo account and I can give, uh, uh, especially because it's only for tomorrow, it's going to be very easy. I can give a, a, a um, when I have a statement of Venmo, I can I can share with everybody and show whatever it comes with that. Uh, uh, something more. Let me see. Oh, we have um, as I told you, uh, the, we have some bad printing, so we ask them to reprint again. Uh, my question will be: What shall we do with that postcards that are? but printed they, they they are not very nice they are very very dark or they are like a um too white so any suggestions <laughs> i could give them to luna at the library and she could turn them into a craft project <laughs> okay that's a very good idea she does a lot of interesting and very creative things with yes. uh, her programs so. Excellent. I think that's brilliant because then it's like Hadley. It's a project of Hadley that I use it even like they are not very good. Great. Thank you for the idea. Yep. Uh, slide show waste. Uh, I'm in talking with Hastings to, to, about the possibility to print more, more postcards for the future, but sell it. So to be able to, like Maureen was saying, like, let's see if we can get money to be able to keep the program going on. So uh, the idea is that um, if we have extra money, then I can print them and then Hastings will be willing to sell it for $1 plus taxes. So, and then they will give us the money, we will, we will put it into the account. Um, any thoughts about that? Yes. Sorry, who are Hastings? Are they just a printing company? No, no. Hastings is is uh, uh, is uh, 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 who is the oldest store, kind of the oldest store in Amherst. They, oh, okay. sell, they sell things, and usually everybody who comes to the to the colleges for to visit, they have uh, things about UMass, about Amherst College, and they were asking that that uh, it would be very nice if we can put this for sale. Over okay. There. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and and what percentage of the sale would they give us? Uh, we didn't say about, uh, actually, I, I saw like one dollar, I, I, you know what, we didn't talk about that they will take any percentage about that. They only will. Okay. Well, let me not. I just yeah. was curious. Yeah. yeah so one dollar and they, uh, we will add the taxes. So, of but course. yeah, they didn't say that, they, that we will pay any, any percentage. For often, often businesses will take 50 cents or 50%, uh huh, which is still a good deal. To get yeah. those cards out there. Right. Yeah. It depends upon how much it's costing you to have them printed. 
Yeah, it costs 20, 27 cents right if I print it today because there is a discount. But I, I, I believe that in the future will there is more discounts. And so it, like if it, I, I believe that we will get like 50, 50 cents per postcard. But the problem is like I want to be able to print good ones that people will take and know we end up like with 100 things that you know they they don't take so that's that's my the my, that my my worry i want to be able to print the ones that really everybody will take so that what we will show tomorrow when we put all our postcards whatever it goes quick is the ones that really are more that that people will like to get so we'll see there is more money in the bucket in the jar today <laughs> Jane. <laughs> oh, by the way, today they call me from the reminder. Is is a newspaper, Jane? Yes. I'm going to do an article. Camp. Yes. To go to do an article about that 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 this project. Uh, the photographer. I'm sorry. The uh, reporter were very very impressed with it with the picture. And everybody who walks around there was like, Oh my God, this is beautiful. Oh, I know where that place is. So it's nice to bring that that feeling of of uh, of community. Yep. I think that's it. Yes. Go ahead. Claire. So I I um I just have a question for the council about the reception tomorrow and on COVID protocols because people have been asking me about it. So on why are we having it? How can we have it safely? Will there be food? Will be people be masks? And I actually said, you know. I actually didn't know the answers, so I should know the answers. So the answers are town building. Well, Hadley has a mask mandate, so yes, everybody will be masked. The senior center, in order to protect people there, have made a as of two days ago a dictum, if you will, that we are not serving food or drink, and therefore people will keep their masks on. Okay, that then that, that's a thing. I just. I was curious. I mean, people have been asking me and I didn't know what to say. So. Yeah, and we feel there, it's about that about that in our comment. reception, but COVID is more important than somebody having a glass of wine. Yeah. Is there a limit on attendance of, of like how many people you can have in the building or not? Uh, I don't think you'll be able to meet that number. Okay. I just, and I was thinking more of COVID than the fire regulations. Yeah. But um, I, we have a really good new ventilation system with oh, okay. filters on it. So you know, putting 150 people in there, which I don't think you're going to get in the hallway, living room, and dining room, is still under capacity. Okay. Are the pictures all spread out, and are the reminders for people to just keep some amount of distance? Because you know, we do have we do have the distance reminders that we use for the senior center, saying six feet, please. Um, people don't do that, but because they're moving around. I think that it's easier. And they're in the, they're in the long hallway that goes mm -hmm. from the front to the back. Mm -hmm. And that hallway is eight feet wide. And so it is, excuse me, possible to maintain distance. Jane, now account that maybe it would be nice to have like three different tables with the postcards and the sure. posters. So that way, not, not everybody <laughs> go to just one place but several places we this have lots of tables we can do whatever you like so yes. we're meeting catalina at 5 15 tomorrow 5 15 is good yes yes okay. yes yeah i can and, and we can set up now that you mentioned that that's a good idea to have different in different places yes sure. right mm -hmm. good i think that's it if anything <laughs> more or we can move to the next uh, item in the in the in the meeting Everybody good? Thank you for all your work on that. Oh, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. So, so, um, so can we move to the reason for the meeting unless there's something else that's pressing beforehand? Because I know Michelle will leave at this I, point. I will meet, leave the meeting. I, I did, I'll just relay a message Andy gave to me that if anybody wants to talk to him, they're feel free to call him. And that's mm -hmm. all he wanted me to say. Okay, so I will leave. Um, see you maybe tomorrow. Anyhow, bye. Um, I'm sorry, Maureen, I have a question. Do we need to approve the minutes from the last meeting or not? I think no. not because it's a special meeting. 
Okay, fine. I just thought I'd ask. Yeah, I, I, that's what I think. Is that, what, how does that sound to everybody else's ears? You know, really the, the goal of this meeting is that we need to um, make a decision about uh, this, the change to this grant and then to yes. see if, uh, and we needed to have it as a voting meeting. So five of us have to be present. So okay. we've thrown in a, other business too, and we can put that under other business if you like, or this was, uh, the, I love Hadley was already on the, yeah, the agenda, but if there's other business, we can just uh, do it as sort of other business. So um, going to Valley Flow now. So we had awarded them a grant for $250. And um, it was for several sessions taking place in both in Northampton and at the Hadley or the Amherst Fam Farmers Market, which is taking place in the mall in Hadley. Um, and so we got a message from Andy saying that they had to change some uh, some things about the, their program. Number one, there were four things. First of all, that there would be less sessions um, because they couldn't cover the sessions that were happening in Northampton because the Northampton grant awards had not been announced yet. So that there were gonna be three um, sessions happening in Hadley. Um, number two, that one of the sessions took place December 4th before the grant uh, was announced. And so, um, you know, it was sort of, it was beforehand. Um, that was number two. Number three, they wanted to know if they could hire an instructor um, because several of the people who said they were going to teach had stepped out. And then four, that if the COVID protocols change, um, that they may have to apply for a grant extension. So, um, so there's the, the gist of it. And because there's such a, you know, there's a change to a program, we do have to meet and, and vote on it. And, you know, over the past couple of years with COVID, it's been a regular occurrence. So we tend to like to do it in blocks. Um, and I might suggest that we do that moving forward if uh, maybe give a date, because I think we might hear from a few other people uh, who are having similar uh, changes. So does, just opening it up for discussion, does anybody want to respond to any of those points? I just had a question about, I did read his, yeah. his message to us. Has the amount changed? He just wants to reallocate the amount to pay for these instructors who will help him with the program. Correct. Okay. Correct. I had a, I mean, I've, I've, I found his explanation a little bit confusing, but anyway, um, so, None of this happens in Northampton. There are just three sessions in Hadley at this point, and he's already done one. And um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't bother me that he's already done one. I think, you know, three for basically, and, and the extension thing to me, that's just, you know, what everybody's going to have to do at some point if we get into that. So we're do, as you're, we'll do it in blocks. So yeah. And I, um, did he have some other purpose in terms of the initial grant, in terms of the money, other than to hire instructors, or it was just to pay performers, or, yeah. Yeah, I didn't see that in his point three about hiring an instructor, yeah. I mean, it was up to them. You know, it was yeah. really their program, and right. they organized themselves to do it. We, yeah. you know, it's not for us to say, so, you know, it was, we didn't, it's fine, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, too, you know. That, yeah. uh, whether it's one person or another person, it's okay. Yeah. Anything else yeah. about any of it? I move that we grant him um, the, I mean, change for the money for the three programs in Hadley. I second. Yeah. So all in favor? Aye. That was quick. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, you know, moving forward, we maybe should um, think about our next meeting and we again we might have I would say if we get one or two more of these kinds of requests that we should organize a meeting and maybe I don't know write out right to the applicant or the the grantees and say, if anything's changing, let us know because we want to get an answer to you quickly but we can't have a meeting every time somebody um, wants to make a change to their program, you know. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I would take that on of writing to everybody and saying that if if we get a couple more. Um, in terms of um, Catalina, I saw that you had 
sent an email to me, but I, I lost it and I can't find it in the Hadley Cultural Council email, which was about somebody else saying that they wanted a grant extension or they had had a grant extension. Yes. Someone, uh, uh, but, but that was like of two years ago. Yeah. And uh, we said that, yes, that we were going to gr grant them the extension, even yeah. if the program is going to be in the September 22nd. So I, I wanted to be sure that, yes, that we agree with that when, when we said, like, uh, because of COVID and everything, that we said, like, everybody over the 2020 will have extension until this year to finish that. Um, we had given everybody, and uh, if, like, I have to go back and look at the dates and everything. But it seems to me that if you got a grant in 2020, that means you actually received the grant in 20, oh gosh, now I'm gonna be all confused. If it was 2019 or 2021. I think, um, I think was when, when, when the pandemic, so then they have to uh, uh, reschedule it for last year and they couldn't do it last year and they said they are going to do it this year. Right, and it's who fine. It? I'm sorry, who are we talking about? Um, do you remember? Mm. No. Okay. So, so on that note, please make sure that we send all cultural council business to the cultural council email, like yes. even little things between us, like, because otherwise it's impossible to find if we have different well, things, you know, and we want to keep a track of everything. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Okay. We will do that. Yes. So, but I, I just want, if, if someone can remind me, but not, I think that's what we talk that any one of the uh, 2019 that couldn't do it last year we gave them includes including luna the library possibility to do it this year and finish the project the project this year so the, the thing is we need to vote on the extension even if it is an extension twice you know and again because we we've put that money aside the money should be there but we need to double check it and we also just need to make sure because it, it's happened once where somebody really changed it and remember it went to organizational funds and we said no that wasn't okay All right. so we, we like just for due process we need yeah. to um we need to discuss it as a as a council, uh, because we're also making up the rules as we go ahead, even though COVID right, is yeah, yeah, much yeah. longer than we thought, you know? Yeah. So I don't think we would have a problem with funding the same project in, in September, 2022, if um, they, they haven't been able to do it for the same reasons, they couldn't do it in 2021. Mm -hmm. um, it's just that, again, we need to document it and- uh, Well, let's do something because we have up to September. I will check that name because it's someone that haven't filed for reimbursement. So I will check again who haven't fi uh, filed for reimbursement for the, uh, the grant of 2019. Yeah. And then I will bring in the next meeting that we have. Okay, that sounds really good. Um, and maybe when, if I see another request happening, then that will be a time to call a meeting. Does that sound okay to everybody? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so Catalina, you could let that person know that we are, we will be discussing it at our next meeting. Okay. okay. That fine, and yeah. we don't know exactly when that's going to happen, but yeah. it will likely be before the spring. Yes. Uh, now, now, the other question is that I have a lot of papers from the Halle Cultural Council of, of like Ballet Center of all these right. things. Right. Um, you still have the key of the of the box uh, that box um i don't know like if it's worth it to save all that paper because right now we went online like almost right. all of this had been online so um well first of all uh, i had cleaned out the the filing cabinet quite a lot i just kept some some documentation because um before it wasn't online. And so there was, you know, we maybe we wanted to keep some documentation or archives if you like. Um, but uh, you could do a good clean out of that material, Catalina, if there's anything that feels pertinent. Uh, okay. Or for example, if it's Amherst Ballet and they, we've, we funded them every year, it might be nice to keep some of their things because that might be something that we want to hold on to you you know for archive purposes okay. um, i don't know if anybody claire do you have an opinion on that with archives i think um for this purpose i don't think i don't know if the culture what i don't know mm -hmm. i have to i don't know the answer 
Okay. I, 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 because we will keep it is to be sure that they grant us um, the, the acknowledge that we funded and they have done it. So it's like saving all that paperwork. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't, well, anyway, so. Um, okay. Well, at the moment, um, why don't you just bring it over to me and we can discuss it at the next one. Um, I think I still have the key, but I, I remember bringing it to you. And I don't know if I got it back from you. So that's, well, I'll, I'll double check that. I'll go through my keys and see what's there um, and try to figure that out. Okay, so maybe the next time um, we see each other, you can hand me that stuff or sure, I will and yeah. grab it from you. Yeah. Good, good. Really? Yeah, hi. Um, just in terms of looking ahead in our meetings, um, I would really, we kind of missed the boat on this direct funding question that w we could have done this year apparently, but, and we seem to be one of the few communities when I look down the list that hadn't. So I would really like this spring to have an opportunity to inform ourselves about that and decide whether we want to do it and, and how we set it up so that next fall, we because it just seems like so much easier than this whole reimbursement thing and so much better for the grantees you know um so, so yeah and um i had let me mina know i just checked with her and yeah we missed it but she said that that was fine and we were on the list for um being set up with it for next year oh excellent so we don't have to do anything i, I don't think so but I'll, i could double check yeah. with her, but i um it's in the, the Hadley Cultural Council email, her email back saying that uh, they'll put us okay. on the list for next year. Yeah. For next I just year. want to make sure that we sure, do sure. that. Yeah. I'll, I'll double check. Okay. Great. Is there anybody else have anything? No. Good. All right. Well, then I think we can adjourn the meeting. Anybody, everybody's good? Yeah, just see you all tomorrow night, I hope. No. Oh, good. All right. So, all right. So, um, anybody want to second the motion to adjourn the meeting? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks for coming, everybody.